Good evening, and welcome to the annual State of the City Address. I am Alton Woodard, Director of Parks and Recreation for the City of Bessemer, Alabama. Due to the coronavirus, this year's event is being delivered via YouTube channel. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We would like for you to subscribe to the City of Bessemer's website for important news and updates. We will begin this year's proceedings with a prayer by the Reverend Alfonso January, pastor of the Old St. Paul Missionary Baptist Church, Bessemer, Alabama. Immediately following the prayer, it will be my pleasure to introduce the Honorable Kenneth E. Gully. To the Honorable Mayor, shall we bow our heads and pray. Gracious God, our Father, we thank you for this opportunity to talk to you, Master, about the city of Bessemer. We pray, God, for your protection, your provision. We pray, God, for the mayor of the city and every elected official. We pray for every public servant. We pray for the streets of the city of Bessemer. We pray, God, that you would keep us with your keeping power. The word of God says, except you keep the city, we who watch, watch in vain. We need you, Master. We want to thank you for this mayor who have done an excellent job. We pray for the prosperity of this city. He's about to make his annual address of the good things that have been done in the city of Bessemer. Bessemer is called the Marvel City. And by your help, O oh God, marvelous things have been done through this mayor. We pray now, God, that you would allow him to continue to do good work. We thank you for every citizen of the city of Bessemer. Bless every neighbor to be a good neighbor. It take all of us to make this city what it need to be and what it should be. We pray, God, for every uh, police officer, the chief roper, and everyone who is uh, have the responsibility of protection. Now, Master, we end this prayer waiting with great anticipation to hear our mayor talk about the city of Bessemer. We ask all of this in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to thank everyone who has assisted in making this event happen. This is the 11th time the mayor has given his State of the City Address, the Honorable Mayor Kenneth E. Gully, son of the late Reverend Willis Gully and Mrs. Hortice Gully, Falkland, Alabama. He's married to the former Yvonne Whiteley, and they have two children, Kaylin and Devon, and one granddaughter, Kenley. He is a deacon and trustee of New Salem Baptist Church, Mobile Junction, Bessemer, Alabama. In 1986, graduate of Paramount High School, Bology, Alabama. And he's a graduate of Alabama A&M University, Normal, Alabama, with a bachelor's degree in business management. In 2007, he was elected the first African-American chairman of the Bessemer Area Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors. Mayor Gully worked for seven years as chief of staff to the first African-American mayor of the city of Bessemer, Alabama, former Mayor Quitman Mitchell, 
Jr. He worked eight years as coordinator of the auxiliary services at Lawson State Community College, Birmingham, Alabama. In 2010, Mayor Gully was elected as the youngest mayor in the history of the city of Bessemer with 73% of the vote. He was re-elected by a large margin in 2014 for a second term and in 2018 for a third term. Mayor Gully has proven his leadership abilities during his tenure as mayor. He has improved the city's finances by taking the city from millions of dollars in debt to a budget surplus. Along with many other accomplishments during his 11 years as mayor, he has built a $15 million youth and senior citizens recreation center, the first in the 135 year history of the city of Bessemer. He also erected a much needed $6.5 million city hall facility. He is a member of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. In 2007, he was chosen as one of the top 40 under 40 business leaders by the Birmingham Business Journal. In 2019, he was chosen as one of the top 50 over 50 by positive maturity. He is a member of the West Jefferson County Mayor's Association, a member of the Jefferson County Mayor's Association, and a member of the Alabama Black Mayor's Association, and a member of the United States Conference of Mayors. I present to you Mayor Kenneth E. Gully of the great city of Bessemer, Alabama. To the members of the Bessemer City Council, elected officials, the business community, religious leaders, employees, and to all residents of this, of this great city of Bessemer, good evening. I'd like to start tonight, as always, by giving honor to the Almighty God. It is He who has allowed each of us to be here this evening, and I'd like to thank Mr. Woodard for that introduction. Thank you. Since 2011, I've had the opportunity of coming before you as mayor of this great city. It has been quite a journey. When I entered office, Bessemer's finances were in the red and we were millions of dollars in debt. When I ran for mayor, I heard from many of you that the city had lost its sense of pride. You were concerned whether this city, founded some 135 years ago, still had a future. We faced some tough challenges 11 years ago, but we managed to pull through by the grace of God, by working together, and by having a resolve to make life better in Bessemer. I can stand here proudly and say that we, being the mayor's office, the city council members past and present, our business community, and legions of dedicated and committed residents have accomplished great things since 2011. We have taken Bessemer from being on the verge of bankruptcy to being one of the most financially stable cities in this state. We have recruited new industry and worked to create thousands of new jobs we are the envy of many cities our size who would love to say that they are home to such major companies as Amazon, Dollar General, Carvana, Lowe's, Milo's Tea, Blocks, and many others. We became the first city in Jefferson County to attain a Class 1 ISO rating in our fire department. We built Bessemer's first youth and senior recreation center, 
a new city hall, a new recycling center, Bessemer's first storm shelter, and began construction on a new rail trail along Highway 150. We've demolished hundreds of dilapidated houses and managed to repave stretches of roadway such as Dartmouth Avenue, 4th Avenue, McCullough Road, Center Street, and Parker Road. We have landscaped and upgraded our Civic Center. As a result of the tornado of 2014 that destroyed Frank House Municipal Golf Course, we were forced to renovate the entire golf course, which included a new clubhouse. We purchased new equipment for our police, fire, and street departments, and all other departments throughout the city. We made improvements in our parks by making those handicap accessible, paved walking tracks, installed new pavilions, installed new playground equipment for our children. Our Bessemer Airport is trending in the right direction and continues to grow. By being good stewards of your city finances, we were able to improve many public facilities and give our employees not only an improved working environment in order for them to be more productive, but we have been able to give our employees a cost of living increase six of the past 11 years, representing a 15% cost of living increase. We know that we have many more hills to climb in our city. As many cities around the country, we too must still wrestle with crime problems. We know that there is still work to be done in making our neighborhoods cleaner, safer, and more attractive. We know that there is work to be done in educating our children and giving them hope for the future. But my friends, we know what success in Bessemer looks like as well. We know it comes through wise leadership. We know it comes from a unified front. We know it comes through a solid working relationship between the mayor, city council, and other city agencies. We know it comes through the perseverance, diligence, and with our eyes fixed on a better tomorrow. Bessemer is a great city and it is only beginning to realize her potential. And I believe that we will get there if we continue to work together, strive for, high, for, strive for the highest ideals, and by keeping our eyes on the vision of a better tomorrow. Because we have realized success in Bessemer over the past 11 years, the state of our city is strong in 2022. And because we have seek to work together hold to what is good, and keep our eyes on the prize, our city will continue to grow and be strong. I would like to congratulate the Bessemer Area Chamber of Commerce as they celebrate 100 years in our city. I would also like to thank them for their support of our local businesses and our community. The economic environment in Bessemer continues to prosper. This past year, Carvana opened its facility in Bessemer and has held hiring events to recruit an estimated 315 new employees. Lowe's is close to completing its $61 million facility in Bessemer and will seek to hire an additional 150 workers. ABC 3340 ran a story this past summer in which it estimates some 1,500 new jobs are scheduled to come to our city in the next few years. These will be good paying jobs that many young men and women in our city can pursue. In fact, our unemployment rate in Bessemer was 4.8% down from the 6.8% unemployment rate that we saw in December of 2020. You can drive down Lakeshore Parkway and Morgan Road and see the changes in Bessemer. 
Our future is bright because we have been able to recruit new jobs to our area. I, alongside Jefferson County Commission President Jimmy Stevens, met this past summer with Governor Kay Ivey in order to discuss the very real possibility of making changes to Lakeshore Parkway and Morgan Road so that we can improve the traffic flow to I-459. I left that meeting encouraged by the discussion as an extension of Lakeshore has been on the wish list for this county for many years. Bessemer will benefit greatly from this extension as it will open the door for new development to the south of town. Our Bessemer Airport is exceeding our expectations and growth. The airport has grown from housing 63 aircrafts in 2017 to 120 aircrafts at the end of 2021. The Federal Aviation Administration has awarded the airport a $2.33 million grant. This parallel taxiway renovation project will perform a complete mill and overlay repaving of 7,205 feet of taxiway and the replacement of existing taxiway lights with a new LED lighting system. This project is anticipated to be completed during the summer of 2022. The airport had a historical year selling, selling over 400,000 gallons of fuel in 2021. This was a record setting amount for the Bessemer Municipal Airport. Academy Drive continues to see development. A new hotel is planned for the area. Two hotels are already under construction. The Church of the Highlands is building a new campus and many other prospective businesses are looking at the Academy Drive area. I would like to welcome our first standalone Starbucks to the city of Bessemer, which opened this past year. I recognize that there is a need for more restaurants in our city, and I will work with the city council to create an incentive package to recruit, to recruit more restaurants. Burlington is opening a new store in the Tiny Hill Promenade, and a new Holiday Inn Express is nearing completion off of Exit 1. We are excited about the future growth in this area. The new jobs in our area have rekindled interest from home builders. Some 400 new homes are proposed for development in Bessemer. This will improve our housing opportunities for both current Bessemer residents and those wishing to move into our city. New zonings have been approved for housing developments off of Murphy's Lane, Cedar Creek, and the Hopewell Road area. Habitat for Humanity is currently clearing land and preparing to construct a $20 million subdivision in the Hopewell community. Habitat for Humanity is also working with the newly organized Bessemer Redevelopment Corporation to build new houses on the city's north side. The two organizations have indicated a desire to work together on the construction of more new houses in that neighborhood. We recently completed the marketing prospectus for our downtown Opportunity Zone to attract potential new businesses in our Bessemer's downtown. We have received funding to improve the streetscape in our downtown from 1st Avenue to, 1st Ave to 4th Avenue along 19th Street. This will make our downtown much more attractive. We have a historical downtown district. This fact that we have historical buildings in our downtown can open the possibility for these buildings to receive historic tax credits from the state for renovation. All of these are signs of a city with good momentum. But we know one of the most critical pieces of our future will be the maintenance of good financial stability and a reduction in our crime rate. 
When I was elected as your mayor, the city's annual budget was approximately $35 million. And today, the city of Bessemer has an annual budget of over $65 million. We have been good stewards of your taxpayer dollars as we will continue to make the decisions necessary to keep Bessemer's finances strong. This past year was difficult for the Bessemer family. On top of the pandemic, there was an unnecessary spike in violence in our city. This is a trend that is common throughout these United States of America. Bessemer finished 2021 with 29 homicides, something that I considered unprecedented in this city. Too many times our police department had to respond to calls of someone shot or injured in an act of violence. And too many times we had to notify family members of the tragic loss of a loved one. This foolishness must stop. If we are to reverse this deadly trend in our city, it will take a partnership of the city, our police department, our faith leaders, our citizens, and many others to save lives in our community. We are committed to attacking violent crime and death in our community. While some communities endorsed defunding their police department in 2021, we will seek to increase the number of officers we have available here in Bessemer. We propose to hire 30 new officers in 2022 to help replenish our ranks and put more patrols on our streets. Our police department has indicated a three-prone attack on crime in this upcoming year. The first goal is to identify, investigate, apprehend, disrupt, and dismantle drug trafficking operations in our city. The second is to apprehend habitual violent offenders and to siege illegal firearms being used to commit violent acts. The third goal is to work closely with other local, state, and federal agencies, as well as as well as, as divisions within the police department to reduce violent crime activity in this city. All options are on the table to combat violence in our community. We do not want to leave any stone unturned in combating this violent crime surge. I plead with the residents of this city to not remain silent. Be a part of the change you wish to see in your city. If you see something, say something. I want to take a moment and commend our faith leaders here in Bessemer. For the past few months, you have organized through prayer and efforts such as to seek the peace margins and rallies to draw attention to the need for people to seek other alternatives to violence. I request more action from you, and you have certainly answered the call. The Bessemer Police Department has partnered with UAB and Noble to engage in crime reduction programs in high crime areas of Bessemer. The department has also partnered with Bessemer Housing Authority to reduce and react faster to crime in our housing communities. While the homicide rate did climb in 2021, we solved 87% of those murders. At the same time, other violent crimes continued to fall in our city. Overall, violent crime was down in Bessemer by almost 44% in 2021 compared to 2020. COVID-19 continues to be a concern across this nation, and Bessemer is no different. I'm proud of the role our city employees have taken during this pandemic, serving even in cases where, they're, where they or their families have been exposed to the, vi to the virus. All of them have been essential. 
which is why, along with the City Council, we approved hazardous pay for all employees on two occasions in 2021. This assisted our employees in recovering from the pandemic. Many of our own employees became ill this past year. Our fire department has been at the forefront of our efforts to combat the virus in the city. The EMS division of the fire department developed the city's COVID-19 guidelines and set up a testing site for city employees performing thousands of tests. The efforts of the pandemic impact ambulance services in Jefferson County. And we were not spared. By acting quickly, this administration and the city council arranged for the purchase of two new ambulances for Bessemer. These will go into service when private ambulance services are unavailable to transport patients in our city. In addition, we have purchased three new fire trucks scheduled to come online this summer. I want to take this opportunity to thank Congresswoman Terry Sewell for being visible and active in our city. Congresswoman Sewell held a job fair at the Bessemer Civic Center this past year and helped secure almost $30 million in American Rescue Act funds for the city and our school system. I also have worked, been working with Congresswoman Sewell and her office on ending the challenge of trains parking on the tracks in our community. The City of Bessemer Economic and Community Development, under the direction of the newly appointed director, Terrain Norris, used more than $500,000 in CARES Act funding from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development to assist residents in Bessemer impacted by COVID-19. We use federal community development block grant funds to assist families with rental and utility assistance through a partnership with the Birmingham Urban League. These households received an average of $2,300 in assistance to help them pay the link with rent or utility payments. In addition, we sponsored the city's first ever micro enterprise grant program to help businesses who were not able to receive assistance from the Small Business Administration or the federal PPP program. A total of 16 small businesses enrolled in a program in partnership with Create Birmingham and received both technical assistance and the opportunity to use up to $5,000 in grant funds to propel their businesses forward after the lockdowns and mandates of 2020. This program is expected to end in June of this year. Finally, we dedicated CDBG CARES Act funds to the Meals on Wheels program. Since October, this has funded meal deliveries to some 122 seniors in Bessemer and provided some 350 stopgap meals to seniors who had been waiting to come into the program. Our emergency housing program assists 17 seniors with home repairs at an average cost of $5,000. Bessemer Utilities also assisted with the pandemic for our residents. The agency ensured customers did not accrue any late charges for nine months and utility service were not interrupted for nine months during the height of the pandemic. We also connected Bessemer customers with community resources who were providing financial <laughs> assistance. Cleanliness is one of the issues I campaigned on when I chose to run for mayor of Bessemer back in 2010. It remains near and dear to me, but I need your help in keeping this city clean. Our public improvement department is doing their part. Despite turnover in staff and the impacts of the pandemic, last year, 
city workers collected almost 25,000 bags of litter from off our streets. This is an average of almost 100 bags of litter a day. We were one of the first cities in this county to create litter crews to simply pick trash up off of our street. I'm proud of that fact, but I am not proud of the way we maintain and care for our neighborhoods and communities. We must do better. Those are the places where we live and trash and litter affect the quality of life in our community in so many ways. Our city is an older city, and we must continue to look at ways to upgrade our infrastructure, whether it is Bessemer, streets, water lines, or utilities. That includes paving streets in Bessemer. We have, that includes paving streets in Bessemer. We have secured $8 million from the bond market to pave much needed streets throughout our city. And I'm looking forward to sitting down with the city council to expedite this process. We have been working with both Bessemer Electric and Alabama Power to improve lighting in our city neighborhoods. About 90% of Bessemer Electric lights have been upgraded from the old lights to new LED lights as of December. In addition, a new 15th Street water tank will be bidded later this month to help us improve water delivery services in our city. Our neighborhoods in Bessemer can be redeveloped. We must continue to demolish blighted and dilapidated structures in our neighborhoods. This past year, we demolished 37 structures. Over the past 10 years, we have demolished over 500 structures in this city. These are the structures which weigh on the quality of life in our neighborhood. <clears throat> this past year, the city through stormwater led the efforts to complete the Valley Creek flood study. This study is now in Washington, D.C., awaiting approval to move the design phase. We want residents in our pipe shop community to feel secure in their homes. I want Bessemer to be a place where families can move into, live, work, and play. The Frank House Municipal Golf Course is doing great business, is attracting golfers from throughout the region. The golf course just recorded record revenues during the pandemic. Some of this money will be used to complete the golf cart paths and the facilities next year. I'm proud to report that our Frank House Golf Course has generated over $500,000 in revenue last year. We are making progress. I have enjoyed serving you as mayor for the past 11 years. My heart is here. I have dedicated myself to working with each of you to make a better Bessemer. Our city is poised for greater accomplishments in the future. Let us keep our eyes on the prize and continue to work together to make the vision a reality. Bessemer is a great city and our future is bright. We have a lot to be proud of here in Bessemer. We have already seen what we can accomplish with just a few committed hands on deck. Now let us seek out new accomplishments as we seek to take our city forward into the future. May God bless each of you, and may God bless the Marvel City of Bessemer. Thank you.